Hey everyone, Shabigan here, and welcome back to another dungeon run here on Hearthstone. Right, we're going to go Warrior again. I've had an idea that maybe Warrior could be pretty good with um, Stealth. That's my uh, that's my guess anyway, my estimation. I just think about when you, um, when you plug in some of these enrages, it could work pretty well. And a plus three attack, if he doesn't kill that off the board... It just means that we've got more consistent damage turn after turn. <laughs> Can't attack myself. Right? Not a valid target. I think you do one damage to him, then he gets enraged, doesn't he? So he's going to go face, because yeah, if he hits either of these, he's going to enrage, right? Which means that I can then. I'm going to go higher gun. I'm going to attack you just to get my enrage up. Okay. And that should give us um, a victory next turn then. Deal two, ah, deal two damage. Should still win. God, these bloody motorbikes are so loud. There we go. Boom. Down. Right, one down. Right, what's our choice is going to be? I want to try stealth. And we don't get stealth. We get battle cries triggered twice, though. That could be good. Or death rattles triggered twice. I'm gonna go for battle cries triggered twice. I'm gonna have to go for a very battle cry based. Right. So battle cry. If you're holding a dragon, gain one attack and taunt. So that's gonna gain two attack and taunt. If you're holding a dragon, do three damage to all minions. Okay. Give all weapons in your hand deck plus one attack. That could be pretty good. Give a random weapon in your hand plus one one. At the end of your turn, reduce the cards in your hand by one. You know what? I like this. I really do. Just the building up the weapons. I know we've only got one weapon in our hand at the moment, but or do we go dragon? I think I feel like reinforcer could be a good one. If we can get some more weapons later on, that could be a really good one. Uh, so you've got counter spell if you use a spell, which we don't have any spells anyway. It shouldn't be a problem then for us. In theory. Right. Elder Brandomar. Oh, that's good. We get the weapon guy straight away then. But the double battle quite also means it's going to help us out with um, our enragers as well, I think. Um, let's give it a Dread Corsair for now. Let me bring out Emperor So that's going to give weapons in my hand and deck plus two. I can't do anything yet. I, I do like Double Battle Cry. It's one of my favourite ones to get because it's just one of the easier ones to, to keep track of, isn't it? Right, so what are we going to go for? Let's go for this guy. So we've only got Fiery War Axe, is all we've got at the moment. So it's just going to give it plus two attack. We're just going to make it five attack, which uh, if we can get some stuff like Arcanite Reapers that are normally 5 attack, that'd be amazing. Right, so he's put a, sp he's put a counter spell on the board. Give a random weapon in your hand. We haven't got any random weapons in our hand, so that's a bit pointless. Let's go for the Enrage. Got no way of triggering that though without inputting something down. What you want. Let's put a 2-2 two -two down. down. Two -two -doon. So I can trigger my Enrage on that now. Um, oh, you want that. Me so it triggers my enrage, and then I'll taunt to protect it. Not that he can do it unless he's got a spell anyway. Ready to ride. Yeah, he's got. Should I put my taunt card down then, isn't it? Right, another enrage card. So I've never got a weapon in my hand yet. Let's just get some armor. Oh, you want me we should win next turn anyway, unless he's got something big. Which he hasn't. Oh. Oh, he's going to give that to one. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Wind Fury again, still doesn't matter. Just showing off the spells that he did have. Ah, Fiery War Axe. It's a 5 2. Yeah, lovely. Because I put that down, and that's going to make that a 6 7 4. Nice. 
Seven four, so seven damage four times. That's really good, actually. That, that's a really good battle cry to get. We just need some more weapons for it to trigger on. That's really good as well. Right, what are we going to get to choose from then? So charge, everybody hurt and taunt. Right. So the charge is give a minion charge, charge and charge, as you would expect. Draw a card for each friendly damage minion. Deal free damage to yeah, and um, Garrosh Hellstone is actually a pretty one to good one to get. Um, Stonehill Defender, Direhorn Hatchling, and the Lich King. Um, Battle Cry is useful on that one. Equip a Shadow Morn. There's really you can only equip one at a time anyway. Right, so the got the two. I think I might go Stonehill just for the double, and we get the Lich King as well as a late game one. Okay, let's go for that. Seriona, so minus one attack. So I key again though is just to try and build up that fiery war axe. I just want some more weapons is what I want. I've got a friend who did the warrior first time, but he ended up getting your weapons cost one. And then he got um, like two or three of the legendary weapons. It's like you're laughing then, aren't you? He's got loads and loads of power over and over again. We should have got a double death rattle. We could have got uh, Wax Rager later on. Ah, I couldn't take that risk. I'm going to get rid of all of these because these are useless to us at this point. So. I sense great power. Come closer. I'm gonna get now then. Okay, okay, that's not bad. I can deal with that. Um, so again, stick out Hobart straight away and get that uh, plus one attack on the weapon. And I think I might go hired gun after that. I want to try and utilize this to the best I possibly can. So it's going to deal two damage, gives him a plus four attack. So yeah, hired gun. And, uh, hold him off for now. Still going to cost you your card if you cash in. Okay, he did. Right, so if I played Fiery War Axe now, it would make Drake Corsair only cost one. Let's go for it. It's, it's still pretty early. We can afford to do that. It's not an issue. And then next turn, I can possibly Taskmaster into one of the... Uh, Taskmaster into this to give it extra attack. That would probably win us... Oh. Okay. That's annoying. Stonehill Defender it is there. Um, so we'll take... Oh, we're going to get two Adapts for that. That's pretty good. We'll take one of those. And then we'll also take a... Take a Fierce Monkey. Why not? And then we'll hit you in the face for five damage again and get some little armor. And next turn I might use this just to give this the extra attack power. I wield the power of Oh, Dragon Deal for oh, we can't use it now. So it'll kill him. That's annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's go for Dire Horn then. So we'll get two adapts. So we'll go for it's already got taunt, hasn't it? Yeah, it's already got taunt anyway, so let's do can't be hit by hero power on that, and then let's give it Stealth until my next turn. Yeah. That way we definitely know we're gonna get five damage on his face. We'll hit him there for one. Meddlesome insects. Yeah, we can't. It doesn't bring it out of stealth though, does it? Oh, it's still. These people do my head in with heals. Right, what are we gonna go for then? Fierce monkey. Or do we go? Let's go for you, because you're gonna reduce the cost of everything, and let's go for a wall box. Do I deal with this or do I? No, let's just hit him in the face again. Make everything else cheaper. So it's going to cost him both his minions to clear my board. Which is done. Which is fine. I feel like this might win us the game if I do this. Boom, boom, boom. 
There we go. Six damage. Boom. Nice. That worked pretty well. Should be careful though, because I've done that before and killed my own member because I keep getting this double battle throw. Right, yeah, I would like some more weapons. Because this uh, legendary guy would uh, do us pretty well with the weapons. Right. Ooh. So we've got a greedy pickaxe. After your hero attacks, gain an empty mana crisp. That's pretty good. Portable Forge. Discover a legendary weapon and equip it. Or Embers of Ragnaros. I feel like this could be useful, actually. Let's go Portable Forge. And then we get a choice of Berserker. Which does give us another weapon. Armor Smith. Or pirates. I think we're going to have to go berserker then, aren't we? Let's go berserker. Gives us an extra weapon. Um, some use. Craft a custom mushroom potion. It's been a while since I faced this guy, I think. Let's hope he's easy. Is this boss five now? Is it five or is it six? Yeah. Be five, I think. Mush the Max. Right, so I want to try and push hard once again. Rampage is really good, actually. I'm going to try and push hard once again to get the legendary guy. Uh, okay, I got Portable Forge, though. That could be useful. As a turn one, this could be make or break. This could give us a really good weapon that's going to win us the game. Or it could give us an awful weapon. If it gives us, like, Skull of Minari... Oh, I get to pick. Oh, I get to pick. Vanir it is, then. Vanir it is, then, my friend. Give a plus two four to something in your hand. Oh, yes. That is good. I like that. I get to pick. That is really good. I'm really happy about that. I didn't realise you got to pick which one you used. Um, so let's armour up. Hit in the face again. I'm going to give one of these two minions plus four two. Yes, he gave it to the hired gun, which means I can use it next turn. And then when the hired gun dies, I get the weapon back again. Right, so hired gun is an 8-5 now. And I get the weapon back. So we've got Death's Bite. Gain, deal 3 damage, gain 4 armor. Okay, as long as he's not going to kill this off, I get at least 8 damage in his face for one turn. Good, I'm going to go for Death's Bite. Give it 12 damage. So this does one damage to the minions when it dies, so I've got to be careful of this. This bad, real bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna frame minions died this game. I got my weapon back at least. Side effects. No. Oh, the bloody these Trust healing ones me. are doing my head in now. Alright, let's use you. Let's just get you out of the way. Get you out of the way. Um, we've got next turn then. We could go... Well, Wargun's the main thing, unless he attacks this. I can fix anything. Uh, and then of each turn, summon a random one-cost minion. Is that worth dealing with, or should I hit this damage to his face? Or I could... I could be cocky and do that, actually. And then do... Let's do that. Just thinking, because this is damage now, I'll be able to use the Rampage next turn. Ah, oh, Grim Patronage, that's even better. Grim Patronage? Okay, Grim Patron. It's now a 7-5. I love that weapon. The uh, the Paladin one's my favourite of the legendary weapons. Ah. Oh. Well, at least that's one of his big cards gone. And we get the weapon straight back again now. So it means even if he has somewhere to deal with it, it just gives us a four attack weapon back. Um, so let's go Wargan. Let's go Bash just for the sake of it. And then let's go to the weapon again. Next time we've got Lich King as well. We're in a pretty strong position here. I'm very happy of how this is going. Oh, Twilight Teacher is a good card. Freeze a random enemy minion, add a demon to your hand. Yep, before you do that. So let's go Lich King. Let's again just hit this place. Ah, 6-5. Oh, 6-5 with plus 3 attack. 
um, when it gets enraged, that's pretty good. I can't imagine we're going to lose here now. With what he's got to deal with. He's got to get past the Lich King as well. The two damage. I am ready to learn. Okay, we're going to actually enrage the war and give it... Um, just enrage the war and give it... Uh, give it Wind Fury, okay. Yeah, that worked pretty well, actually. That uh, Portable Forge is actually a really good card. I didn't realize you got to pick. I thought it just gave you one. But the fact you get to pick it makes me a bit more happy. Right, choose loot. Weapons! Wow. Attacking a minion costs one attack instead of durability. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I'm really heavily looking at minions here. Ice Howl. Charge can't attack heroes. Divine Shield, Divine Shield. Taunt, taunt, taunt. Right, I'm going to go weapons. Just for that legendary guy. Giving him all plus one attack is going to make him stronger. I don't like cracks. I don't like cracks at all. He's the one who deals... I know he's the one who deals one damage to everyone, isn't he? That's not bad, actually. Because that's just going to enrage I need to remember which one he is. Is it the damage one or the armor one? I think yeah. it might be the armor. I think he deals one damage to everyone. All minions. I think he de he gets a lot. Oh, yes. I think he gets a lot of armor. I think that's actually a pretty good start. I would have liked a weapon, to be honest, but I'm happy with that. I don't think we've pulled out the bag of stuff in yet once. So what you got? Deal one damage to all enemy minions. Okay, that's going to be work pretty well then for our guys that enrage. So I'm actually going to put you down first. If he uses his hero power this turn, then you're going to get enraged. Ah, he's not. Okay. Yeah, he's the guy who just likes to armor up a lot. I'm going to go Warbin now. And hopefully he's going to use his hero power. Because if he does, we're looking Arm good. Oh, he did it again. Right, so we're going to go for you. Going to make all my weapons one stronger. Then I'm going to... I'm going to go for you. So you can do that, okay. So he's gonna, he's probably going to end up getting past that now. Oh, I did one damage to all minions. Bugger. But he's now enraged this one, which he can't deal with. Unless he's got some else in his hand. Ah! Oh no, no, it's only one damage. Okay, so we're going to survive another turn. Oh, not only that, we're going to be able to put a taunt in front of him and protect him. Nice. Boom, it's hit in the face of five then. So Fire War Axe is now a 5-2. Oh yeah, bugger, we're getting um We're getting plus two damage on all the weapons, aren't we? Not plus one. That makes weapons really, really good then, doesn't it? Right, how much have we done this now? We need to upgrade equip a weapon to upgrade it. Excellent, so we'll do that. Two five five golems now. I'm just hoping we can take him down quicker than what he can... Oh, I hate this bloody card. So... I don't really want to do that yet. I can I can take... Oh, no, I can't take him out either, can I? What can I do here? I could brawl and try my luck. But it seems like a waste, doesn't it? I could save that for one more weapon... Let's just go for some, uh, let's see what I get from the stone hill. Whenever this minion deals damage, deal as much, gain as much armor. Okay, we'll deal that. And then we'll also go for... Let's go for the naught forward taunt, because it's cheap. Um... Let's just do it. let's just... It's a bugger, I know it is, but you shall not pass. It just, um, it just takes it down the next turn. It can't attack me, so I'm gonna have to take that out next turn. It's an Arcanite Reaper. I'm gonna go for yep, my taunts. Right, okay. 
See, that'd be. I don't want to hit, hit that. Hit that with it. So um, I'm not going to bother with that yet. I'm going to go Lich King. Warriors We're going to get a pretty cool card at the end of the turn anyway. He can't hit it yet because he's got nothing that good. So Doom Pact, remove all minions. Remove cards from the top of your deck. The same. At the end of your turn, okay, you've got no armor though, so that's not going to help. You. But I do want to deal with this quickly. Right, uh, right. Let's go tentacles for arms. Let's take you out. Take you out. Did I, kill my, I did kill my Lich King, didn't I? Okay, that's fine. I got rid of it. Because if he starts getting armoured up again, and then he all of a sudden gets some really good stuff. Back on the weapons now, don't he? But I've got a 6-2 here. You've got 5-2. It's a race against time. Um, but I can actually use you now, can't I? Nice. So let's use you. Let's also hit you in the face. Do one damage, give two attack. Boost you up. Oh, Tentacles for arms goes back in your hand. Nice. Don't know if he's got. He's after. He can hit me with his weapon. But he's going to take 9 damage. Gain. Oh, he's got a 5 2 weapon as well. Nice. We've still got enough to kill. Oh, okay. I've screwed myself over there. I? Should still be okay. I think. No. Maybe not then. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That gets you free free, which does that much damage, which leaves you with six health left. But a death's bite. Yes. Right, past cracks. I don't like cracks. I'm, a, I'm not the biggest fan of him, so getting rid of him is quite good for me. He's a bit of a bugger. Right, what's next? Right, so the start of the game, draw two extra cards. Extra mana crystal. Play. I'm going to go for draw two extra cards, because if I can pull some extra Not weapons out, I'll be happy. Anymore. Right. So I've got Patches, Dread Corsair, and Captain Greenskin. Again, give your weapon plus 1-1. One, one. Armor Swift, bring it on. Bash. Or Elise, Elise, Baron. See, Elise is not great. I'm going to go for Pirates, because the plus 1-1 one, one on your weapon, and that can make this card free as well. And Patches is just Patches, isn't it? So... So this is challenge six. This is Sturmy. Oh, I hate Sturmy. I hate them all, don't I, really? But Sturmy is one of my least favourites. Just because you can't put anything good down against them. That might not be a bad idea for us this one, then, because we can just focus on weapons. If we focus on weapons, he can't copy our best minions. That's not bad. We, we might be able to pull this off. I don't think it's not an exact copy, I think. He oh, is it an exact copy? I think it is. I think he takes buffs on all. Right, so Hobart, you're here, good. Um, so I'm going to get rid of both of you and try and mulligan for Portable Forge, I'd love. Come on, Portable Forge. Come on, Portable Forge. Aha! Double Battle Cry, right. Yes, we got a Death Spite at least. And I've got Portable Forge! Yes, get in! Right, oh, you didn't give me the one I wanted. Cast three spells and summon a dragon. We've not got spells, really. Gain ten mana crystals and death rattle. That's not bad, actually. Or we're not got any buffs, though, have we? Going to have to go twig of the world tree just to try and um, get the ten mana crystals one turn. That was a real poor choice, that, wasn't it, really? There's no good ones to pick there. I am worried now. I will this give this a buff though? Does it not count the ones that I've got equipped? It doesn't, no, okay. It doesn't, okay. Well, that's the 6 2 now though. So I'm just going to concentrate on weapons a bit more now. Weapons for me are the key. So let's hit you with that again. Go for Dread Corsair just because we can. We'll take one of these frogs out. So we know we can put a 10. We can get 10 mana. For this as well. Discover a beast. Um, so let's attack him again. Stonehill Defender. Alright, I don't want to go for anything too 
good. Deal two damage to all characters. It's a decent thing, isn't it? Um, and enrage plus three attack. Job done. Okay. I want to get this death fight on as soon as I possibly can. Ooh. That's an interesting play. I can deal three damage. I think the best way of doing this then because I need to get past that but at the same time I don't oh, this is gain okay I'm going to put you down and then hit you I suppose and that destroys that gives me 10 mana alright I can play with 10 mana now let's go death bite now maxes that out for next turn um, I'll hit you and you and use bash to finish you and then use the Wargun as well. Okay, that was a pretty decent turn. That wasn't too bad, then. at least by getting to that point I was able to... Oh my god, I get to keep 10 mana every turn. Okay, that wasn't bad then at all, thinking about it. I didn't realise I now get to keep mana every turn. Right, so let's go for Mithril Spellstone. Let's go Heroic Strike. And let's just start rushing it, I think. I'm not doing 10 damage with that bad boy. Boom, right, we could... We might be able to pull this off. I hate this guy. He's my least favourite of all the uh, ones to face off against. Because no he can copy. The fact that he's done that, actually. You know what? We could be in a very good situation here. Give your weapon plus 1-1. One, one. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Let's have a taunt card on the board as well. So, 5, 10, 15. I'm going to go with 1. Freaking one. Oh my god. Yes! We've got fast waxman to stir me. I am recording this, aren't I? Yes, I am recording this. Good. Oh, I, I hate him normally. Oh, we've got a golden charge. I normally hate waxman to stir me. He's one of my least favourites because no matter what good stuff you put down, he just copies it. Right, so we've got more. We can go for more pirates, which increases your weapons as well, which is good. I think that's actually the way to go. I think the more pirates, because you give your weapon plus one attack. That's what we do at the moment. We're just using our weapons and beefing them up, aren't we? So Voodoo Master Vex or Battle Cries. And... Okay, so Battle Cries is not going to affect us, really. Death Rattles. Um, don't think we've got many Death Rattles in our deck. Uh, so we won't be able to take too much of an advantage from this, but hopefully there's not going to be too much against as well. The fact that that's just, that is what it is, it's not too bad. It's the ones uh, that are a bit more OP I don't like. This is a... Uh, this is our best run I've had, I think, in quite some time. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more... Ah, oh, that's nice. If we get rid of Drake Corsair, I'm going to keep those two and try and pull out a weapon here. I've got Drake Corsair again. But we get two more cards. I'd like to get um, Portable Forge again. I've got Gore Howl, though. That's very good. And Death Spite now. So Hobart can go down next turn. Then Grime Spree, Pawn Broker. And then see which one it buffs. So you deal two damage to all minions. Okay, that doesn't matter too much. Because at the moment I'm just interested in buffing my weapons, to be honest. 8-1 now. Oh, it's, just, it's an 8. It's a 9-1. 9-1. If I give it... Oh, my God. If it gets plus... Oh, oh, oh. That would be awesome. Be two lots of 11 if we can buff that. Who cares at this point in time? Right. So let's put you down. What are you going to buff? You're going to buff the Gore Howl. Oh my. He buffed both. Because he gets it twice. It wasn't on both the same. Okay. I thought both being the same weapon. But that's now a 7 3, this is. So we've got 21 damage with that. Twenty-one damage. Portable forge. Right, I'm gonna go for this first, I think. Come on, give me the Valnier. Ah, all of those are pretty bad, aren't they? I'm gonna go for this, just for the sole fact that I can draw some cards, and I'll just go over the top of it next turn. So draw me three cards. Then next turn, I'll just uh, put another weapon over the top of it. Just gets us more cards in our hand. Right, so Death's Bite goes on. 
all characters, and it's going to do it. Okay, so it's going to kill both his minions if I do that anyway. Let's get rid of that. Okay, and then I'm going to put down two Dread Corsairs for a charge. And screw it, let's put a war button there as well. So I can also drop Greenskin next time and give this an extra 1 1, make it an 8 3. Hey, hey, you want to buy a Good. funnel cake? Yep, excellent, that works. So you're now an 8 3. No, you're a 9 4. Oh, wow, yes, you are, aren't you? Wow, okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let him do the, do the chase and I'm just gonna do the face. We've got a 9-4 weapon on board now, we can just start doing some damage. Let's race this guy down. And then we've got a gore howl sitting there with 10-2 to be used. You're the one that deals five damage to your hero afterwards. So you're gonna do ten damage to your own hero. Excellent. Side effects. This is going well. You're gonna heal whatever for lots though, aren't you? So, I'm going to bash you, you will do 10 damage to your own hero. Stonehill Defender gives me, let's have all you because it gives us extra cards to play around with later on in the game then. Gain 1-1 one, one for each minion with death, gain 1-1 one, one for each enemy minion death rattle on board, gain 1 health for each enemy minion. Let's do double adapt, I think. Do nine damage. Plus damage as well. I think we're in a very good position here again. He's gonna get the big heal here, but that's not a major issue. He's gonna get an eight heal. Which is annoying, don't get me wrong, but not a massive issue. So you got here, you? Yeah. I've still got some big damage to hit him with though. Oh, nice. Another another taunt card. And then never talk about adapt. Double adapt. So let's go plus one one. And let's go for Divine Shield. Let's make you work for this. So hopefully we should be able to do him in now. We've got a ten two weapon here. We've got nine weapon on the board. He's going to... Can he get past that? He can't get past the 6-6. Six, six. No, so we've won. Oh, Nelly. Boom! I wasn't paying attention. I almost killed myself. There we go. We're into the final battle. Oh my god, can we do this? Can we actually get Warrior off my list of come ones to do? Come ones to do? Can we get lit? Can we get what? Uh, you, you know what I'm trying to say. It's just not coming out though, is it? At the start of your turn, add a random mage. Okay, that's pointless. That's really, really risky. I'm going to go for Embers of Ragnaros. Right, so we got. After you hear attacks, give a random minion plus 1 1. Give a random minion in your hand plus 5 5 plus 5 5. More pirates. Could be pretty good. Equal to your armor. We've not really got a lot of armor stuff going on, but the two Yasages could be very, very good. I'm going to go for Pirates. And we've got... Who the hell are you? At the end of your turn, add a beam to your hand. I don't think I've ever faced this one. Zol the Unscathed. I need to Google this. Zol. I don't think I've ever had this one. Zol. The. Unscathed. Get it's like a really rare one, or is this just one that I just. Just the fact that I've been so little at the top end that I don't know what these are. Right, so Tentacle of Arms is okay, but it's just not. Um, it's too so high up. I feel like just getting rid of all of these so for now. Just mulligan. And if I can get a good portable forge weapon. You. Early on, that's going to be the best one, but I don't think get it. Come on, give me your portable forge and those two cards. Um, That's not a good start at all, is it? Okay, there's different beams. There's different ones it can do. Freeze a minion, deal two damage, add a... This might not be too bad then, actually. Might not be too bad. 
why have I got no cards that I can play yet? There's a lot of different beams that it can get, but they're not that super powerful. Yeah. Not super, super powerful. Right. Um, Embers of Ragnaros could be useful. I'm going to go for higher gun to get the tour going. Uh, shuffle a random enemy minion into your opponent's one. Deck. Okay, so it just basically gives it a back. Okay. Okay. Frost. Not the best for us, but... You have a random weapon in your hand. Okay, so it's going to give it to the Gorehal, both of them, isn't it? Which is very, very good. Makes it a 9-3. Okay. Okay, we're starting to get to the point we want to get to. He's got a quest on the go as well. Okay, so it's discard cards, is it? Makari Sacrifice. So that, that could be a problem for us as well in the long run. That and he's got a lot of board control at this point in time. Do we just hit Ragnaros just to get some board control? I know it's could be iffy here because it's... Uh, I think we need to just to try and make sure we don't get over overwhelmed early on. Yeah, I think that, I think that was actually worth it. Because we were going to get overwhelmed early on, I think. The truth is in here! That one? Corrupt every... Okay. So we still can't play a weapon yet. So... Okay, reduce all the card costs by one. That's probably a good card to go for. That's going to do it. So we've got a lot of cards in here. That's done us pretty well. It means we can put the Gorhar down as well. Take control of... Oh, that is annoying! Why does everything go so badly? So he's, he's up to his discard and he's looking pretty good, but he's actually running out of cards. He's made it into a 7 6. Fatality. I could have a good run here, though. I could have a good a good uh. run here. Bloody taunt as well. Right. Right, so what do we have? We've got Dead Corsair. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. So first things first, let's equip the weapon. Which makes you free and you free. Also gives you plus a couple of attack. And it means that I can kill that. Okay. That's done us pretty well there then, actually, isn't it? Give your weapon plus one attack. Oh, that's a bug, isn't it? Oh, wow. That is a real bugger. Yeah, once he gets this permanent imp thing on, this is going to not do as much help, is it? Which is going to be next turn. Okay. Down to 33 health. Um, give your weapon plus one attack. Wind Fury. I don't really want to waste my weapon, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Put you down. Give your weapon plus one attack. That gives us more attack, then, doesn't it? Oh, nice. It's the battle cry, doesn't it? So it gives us back again. Nice. Right. We can take some sort of control in this one. Which I know is going to be very difficult now with the constant 3-2 imps on the board. Don't freeze the wargun. Don't freeze the wargun. Don't... He throws everything. He throws bloody everything. The wargun's dead. That flame imp's good. He's damaged to himself. Oh, it gives us the stew, doesn't it? Right. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to heroic strike. 13 damage. I've just got to go for this, haven't I? I've really got to go for it. This weapon's really good. Because it only takes... Destroy 2. Ow. 
What's the bargain then? Discard. He had no cards to discard. But we've got the damage with the weapon. That that's that's the race here, isn't it? The damage with the weapon. Brawl. Brawl could be good. Okay, let's brawl here. I'm gonna leave him with just one card, isn't it? Hopefully, it's one of the crappy imps. Which it is. Okay. Nothing hits. Again. It's just a race. It really is a race here. You are not the boss of Whenever you discard a card, draw a card, okay. Flame. I've got no minions. I've got no bloody minions. Um we're both down to 28 health now, though, but this is just a race against who can who can stay living the longest at this point in time. Because I can't. Uh... Oh, he's got another two me. I need, I need to, I need to me here. I need. Ah, oh, Lich King, excellent. Okay, Lich King, you may have just saved me a little bit here. Uh, I'm just gonna hit him in the face because he can't spawn any more minions now because he falls. And this is going to do death rattle of one, isn't it? Deal free damage to all enemies. That's going to help us out. That's really going to help us out, actually. Wow. He just has a card that just control up. Ah, he would have taken control, but because he had so many minions on the board, it just killed. Oh, wow. Wow. Death and decay clears. Might just buy me a bit more time, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if it's going to be enough. I need something big here. I need a taunt card or a bag of filling would be perfect here. That's what I need. I got a taunt card, okay. And if we kill one of these minions off. Does that help us survive at all? Um, that's going to help us survive one... Oh, fucking hell. Oh. So the best run we've had as a, war a warrior in a long time. He just got so lucky. They got the right bean cards at the right time. We didn't get our right legendaries pull out we had a terrible start to the game i was so disappointing because we were so close then wow there you go that's the way they come from i suppose foolish little trick. i've not seen that one before that's the first time i've come against this le this guy i want to go against the one with the chests that's my favorite one but there you go that was our dungeon run with a warrior we're still only four out of the nine classes completed hopefully we'll get this warrior one done soon uh, of course if you have enjoyed this episode then you're a better person than i am but well done uh please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more i've been shabby gamer thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye <laughs>